speaking from the center there. Can you, uh, you want me to ask this one time? No, no, I can't. Yeah, you know, this is fine. something a little bit different. We're going to have a few questions. And then uh, we've invited each candidate to ask a question uh, or two or three uh, of the other opponents. So it's uh, something a little little different, but uh, we'll try it. Uh, at this time, I'd like to invite uh, David to come up and uh, introduce himself in five minutes, sir. We have a timer down here. He's got a uh, sign with 10 seconds left, and he's got a stop sign. Good. Or yours. <laughs> well, good. Thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to stand back just a bit for the volume. Thank you so much for the opportunity to be with you this evening. It's an honor to be able to, uh, to bring my appeal directly to you to serve as your new state representative for House District 7. Really, three goals I want to try to accomplish through the course of our discussion and conversation this evening. First of all, I want you to hear my values and my perspectives, my principles. Jay has been a product of the political system. He's been inside the system for 18 years. I've worked on the outside of the system. That brings a different perspective, a healthy perspective. About two years ago, the Fort Worth Star Telegram interviewed me. And what they wrote later was, with David, you get a unique perspective that can only come from somebody outside the political system. Even liberal newspapers sometimes can see that that is the case. I want to share my vision for a better Texas, what that looks like, and how we get there from here. And yes, we want to examine Jay's record. There's nothing in this conversation that is any personal animosity between us. Jay has never mistreated me, and I hope I've never mistreated Jay. But we do want to examine Jay's record as he served as mayor for the past 10 years. And so I haven't said that, but we want to examine Jay's record. Jay, for example, even in the newspaper article this morning, if you saw that, indicated that he had brought smaller government to the city of Long Beach. And I think that's an interesting observation to, to make. Because if you look at the time period in which Jay was mayor for 10 years, from the time Jay began in 2005 to 2015, headcount in the city of Longview increased by 58 full-time equivalents. The, the city consumption of tax revenue, that is taxes from you, the people, the citizens of Longview, increased 41% in that period of time. The, the expenditures, the budget of the city over that period of time increased 30%. And the debt, what is called the tax-supported debt of Longview, increased 18% in that period of time. That's not smaller government. That's government that is growing, that is doing too much and taxing too much and taking too much. And that's a distinction we hope to explore this evening. We also want to look at some of the challenges that have arisen over the past years uh, in the city of Longview and, and, and Jay's approach to that. For example, I've heard from citizens as we've knocked on doors, as we've walked neighborhoods, citizens who have had a lot to say about the changes in the trash collection in Longview. Now, a lot of you face the challenge. How do we encourage more recycling and more, uh, uh, sending more waste to the recycling facilities instead of the landfill? The interesting part is what was the answer to all of that? What was the approach that was used under the leadership of Jay during his time? The approach became we'll spend $2.5 million on new cars, $2.5 million on new trucks. That will keep us from having to raise the sanitation fees by a dollar a month. And then it was even claimed in the city council meetings we'll be able to save a million bucks a year. Well, the one dollar fee, did, the, the avoidance of that didn't last long. That's been put back in place by the new, the new mayor and new city council. And the million dollars that was claimed to be saved did not materialize. The, the, the challenge presented itself to the city of Longview. What was the approach? It became a monumental expenditure, $5 million, to address that challenge. We'll, we'll discuss and explore, for example, there are similar issues with the animal shelter that has been a, an interesting topic over the past several years. There was a challenge. Almost everybody loves animals and appreciates animals and cares about their welfare. 
The challenge was the current facility had its issues, too small and too old, but what was the approach used? What was the approach of that solution, that problem? Well, the approach was that we will build a facility that cost nearly $6 million, $5.75 million. The city will put in two and a half million, the county will put in two and a half million, some private citizens will put in some money, but nearly six million dollars for a new facility. $275 a square foot. And then it will cost 1.2 million in, in operation just to begin this first year. Those are the kind of issues we hope to explore this evening. Those are the kind of things we can say. Thanks so much.